cover the options functionality. So what we're going to do is, again, everything starts with a webhook. So create a new webhook. We'll call it options webhook. And we want it to be the options asset class. And we'll use square as the ticker. We'll save. Now we'll create a strategy. We'll call it option strategy. And we want to associate it to that options webhook that we just created. We're going to take both sides and we want the asset class to be options, not, not stocks or futures. Um, so now these settings come into play because we've chosen an asset class of options. And when we create a subscription to this strategy, it'll give you a little more information about what these settings do. Um, but basically we're gonna do an option type of both, which means that we're gonna buy calls when bullish and we're going to buy puts when bearish. All right, and let's do plus three months. So this is basically saying all of these, these settings are basically filtering the option chain data to whittle down the option chain to find a contract that fits your criteria. So let's do, we'll consider 12 strikes, six in the money, six out of the money, and we'll choose the second strike away from at the money. And let's just hard code this to a quantity of one and entry market and exit market. All right, so we have this strategy created. Now, because the options markets are closed right now, when we create a subscription, we're gonna connect it to this paper broker so that we can actually see it get submitted to the broker because the trader supposed paper broker will allow you to submit orders even when the market is closed. All right, so now we have this example order here. You show It shows you the contract that's selected. Um, let's check auto submit. We check square and let's change some of these settings here, right here. Um, let's do 12 months. And now watch how the contract that gets selected changes when I click save. See how it's now selecting a contract that's 12 months out. Or say we wanna do four strikes away. So now it's selected 92.50. All right, so let's go back to three months out and we'll do two strikes away. And let's enable the strategy subscription. And everything looks good. All my settings look good. Example looks good. Let's just take a look at the bearish example. So because we're getting a bearish signal and we have both selected here, when we get a bearish signal, it's gonna to buy to open a put. And then when we get a bullish signal, it's gonna to sell to close that put. You can see that this is a bearish order and closing that put would be a bullish order. Because when you buy a put, the value of the put goes up when the price of the underlying goes down. So you can make money on the put even when the market is going down. So buying long puts is a bearish position. All right, so we have this strategy subscription created. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and send a signal now to the options webhook and let's see what we get. All right, so because the market is closed, so actually, uh, even though it's the Trader's Post paper broker, because it's a market order, uh, it won't submit it to the broker until uh, the market opens tomorrow morning. So that's kind of the extent of what I can show you while the market is closed. Um, let's just uncue this and we'll reject it. But what I can show you really quick is the user interface for the option chain. So if you go find a ticker, so let's just go look at Tesla. There's an option chain button here. And this basically allows you to manually view the option chain just like you can in Thinkorswim or any other brokerage user interface. 
We can change the number of strikes to consider. So this will basically give us seven strikes on each side of at the money. You can do 20. So you can see how it shows you more and more. We only wanted to do six. That would give us three. And the default is 12. All right. And you can manually place orders. So now we have an open position on the 880 call May 6th contract. All right. I think that is pretty much everything that I planned on showing you all today. Uh